Hi and welcome back to Bill's Cichlid Room. Well I'm really late getting the vlog up for May so I thought I'd call this one the May and June vlog. Um, I've not actually been out to any fish shops and got any new species uh, over the last month or so. So yeah we thought just have a catch up and see what's going on. So this is the tank with the Carpintes, uh, there's the tuber in there, the Robert Stone Eye, the Phyrictes Passionis and uh, the Amatelania Minor Eye. So, yeah, it's I've been busy with work and what have you. So, what I did yesterday, which was Saturday, I actually uh, I spent about four or five hours just doing all the maintenance and all the tanks and all the water changes, so cleaning all the sponges out. So, yeah, it's the the, the only time I've actually spent down there um, for the last few weeks. So, yeah, it's everything's had a big water change. <laughs> so, yeah, that's. So this is the carpenter's tank, as I say. So yeah, they're growing on really nice. Uh, no breeding activity off any of them, but you know, never mind. And um, right, so this is the Paracromus red starlight, formerly the Lewiselli. So still got the five of those uh, and the Cuban cichlid. So yeah, they're growing on really nice. Yeah, did some of them? Um, yeah, they're starting to get the colours coming through. Um, so I'm hoping they do start pairing off soon. <laughs> yeah, I've been saying this for months and months and months. Yeah, so they, they, they're all really pleased with the, with, with the big water change. So it was a 50% water change I did on every tank. And the Cuban cichlid still thinks it's his tank. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the Polonai. So I've put the female back in with the male. I did that about two weeks ago. Uh, again, no breeding activity yet, um, but yeah, he, he's, he's a stunner. I mean, he, he, he must be nine or, nine or ten inches uh, he, he's got up to now. But yeah, a real stunning fish. Yeah, really interactive as well. So yeah, he, he follows you around the tank. Um, quite funny though, as soon as you put your hands in the tank to do any maintenance, he, uh, he darts into the, into the little uh, clay tube there. <laughs> so yeah, he... Hopefully it won't be too long before they start uh, laying eggs again. So the bow caught eye, uh, the, the redhead tapajas, uh, salvini. So yeah, they're all doing well. And yeah, and the, the few few of the tetras. <laughs> yeah, so the bow caught eye. So yeah, they're getting a little bit bigger. Uh, th this is the female nanolatus that I've got. Uh, th I've only got the, the like the female and. Do have a small cichlids in here. There's two of the grow outs of the chocolates uh, that that they were from the the, the first spawning, uh, and there's a group of the Amatellania altifluvi in here as well. I think there's five or six of those. So uh, there's one of those. So that, that that's a male. It looks like. In the Corydoras duplicarcus. Yeah, so I think that's the male Savini uh, and the, the one here, that, that's the female. So the female has the spot on the dorsal uh, and it does have a bit more colour, a bit more red in its belly. Yeah, they think I'm feeding them. It's the only time I've been uh, down in the basement over the last couple of weeks is when I'm feeding them. <laughs> yeah, so the chocolates and the geophagus. So yeah, the geophagus, they're, they're getting to a really good size now as well. Uh, they're, they're about six, six, seven inches. The, the, the biggest one's six or seven inches. And the, the, the chocolates, the, 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 I do like the chocolates. They are one of my favourite uh, South American cichlids. Yeah, so I'm actually did I've put two new sponges in there, the the bigger ones, but I've left the smaller ones in there because I'm I'm going to use those in another tank. So I'm not quite ready to do that yet. So I just left them in there to, uh, just to keep them seeded really. And uh, so the rainbows and the um, the Thomas Sickler as fracky and, and a couple of Cubans. So yeah, the rainbows are looking really colourful today. And um, 
This one in the front is uh, is the male, so I think he's ready to start breeding. So he's just going round causing mischief <laughs> with with everything else, chasing it all out of its way, trying to attract the female. The Asfraki, so yeah, that's no change with those. Um, I'm pretty sure I have got a pair, but yeah, <laughs> I will have to wait. Um, yeah, the he goes. He, he's just he's trying to attract that female and then chasing everything else out the way. Looks like she's not really interested. <laughs> so yeah, the, here he goes uh, after another one. Yeah, so this is the, the last pair of fish that I bought, uh, which is about six weeks ago now. Um, so yeah, the the Madagascan, um, the the melon rambo. So I've had a little problem, a bit of a problem with them, but I've wormed them um, and they actually yeah, they got white spots. So I've been treating them for white spot um, with the Escher 2000 and Escher Exit. Yeah, so it was, it was they had it, uh, the pair of Sajaka, that they had it and the, the Geophagus, they had it as well. So they've actually it's two lots of um, of treatments that they've had, so they, they look all right uh, at the moment. Um, yeah, so I've been putting loads of food in here, trying to feed them up as well. So the the red terrors, the that the, they're growing on uh, quite well. So there's there's four of them in this tank. Uh, I actually split them. Uh, so these these were the bigger ones. So I split those. I'll show you the other ones in a moment. And these ones, these, this was the Phyrichtes Macapinus, uh, formerly the Aliotai. So I got a pair of those um, like a couple of months ago. I uh, put them in this little tank, uh, more for quarantine, uh, and they actually bred. Uh, they, they ate the first spawning, uh, and within a couple of days, they actually spawned again. But I've actually I've, I lost a female um, over the weekend, so I've took the male out and I'll, I'll just grow on the youngsters. So yeah, th these are the other ones, th the other uh, festae. So this is the tank of the grow outs. Um, so th th in case uh, th anybody forgot, we we've actually got the, the Northwest Cichlid Group auction. That's the first Sunday in July. So I hope to see some of you there. Um, I'll put the leaflet up at the end of the video uh, with all the details. But yeah, so th this is uh, th some of the fish that I'll be putting in. So it's the rainbows, the chocolates, the neotropolis. Yeah, the the colours in the, the chocolates, some of them, um, yeah, they, they have got strange patterns. <laughs> and so I did all the water changes, but I haven't cleaned the front of the glass. <laughs> Yeah, so it's just the three species uh, in that tank. Uh, th th this is the uh, Fenestratum grow out uh, and the pair of Nicaragua Gwens. So yeah, the, the, the colours in these as well. So th if you remember, I had a pair of the normal coloration ones, the grey ones, and I had a pair of the pink ones. Uh, they both um, spawned about a month apart, um, but I actually did keep all the fry separate. Uh, so th it's it's coming on to 12 months now, so these are about 12 months old, but yeah, I've put them all together. So yeah, I think there's about 50 of them there, so if, if anyone's interested in any uh, Venestratus, let me know. <laughs> yeah, but the, the colour patterns are quite amazing with them there. Uh, some of them have gone like a mottled colour, some of them have gone the pink colour, and obviously we've still got the, the greys. It's the male Nicaragua Gwens. So I'll have to put those in into another tank. It's it's too busy in this one for them. Yeah, that's the male. So the female's here somewhere if you can spot her. And then the male Neotropolis Neotropolis.
Yeah, there, I think there's about 50 of them all together. Like in this tank. <laughs> And this is the other tank, so there's another six of them in here. Uh, they were all the grey ones, uh, but as you can see, one of them's turned uh, the, like the, the pink colour. So yeah, there's lots of different species in this tank. There's about half a dozen of each species. Uh, Mineride, Neotropolis. So th th these are the ones that I'm sort of keeping for myself. Uh, but with the, the, the minor I uh, noticed that they all seem to be females. So I've got another tank here of grow outs, which I'll show you in a minute. So yeah, I'll have to pick a couple of males out of that. Um, looks like the cutter right there uh, that they've spawned in the back there again. And it's always amazing that the, you know the, the tank's so busy, and yet cichlids like if they want to if they want to breed, they will find somewhere. <laughs> There's a couple of Nicaragua Gwents in there as well, they uh, did grow out from last year. So I've just put them in this tank. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this this is the Spolaris. So there's a tank full of those. And this is the uh, the, the tank with the with the minor eye. So yeah, there, as you can see, so there's not not much uh, happening in the fish room at the moment no new species going in there uh, and th there's nothing really breeding uh, so it's just the grow outs so yeah th that's about it for this video uh, as i say i'll put the leaflet up for the auction at the end and i'll see you all on the next one